What's up guys, Fuji here and I welcome you back to another episode of No Flare to Rare. Facecam is back into it today. I asked you lads to vote in the comment section below. Do you want to see it brought in especially for the whole of Season 3? And really nice feedback and you said yeah, you really did. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but to this episode and we needed an informed centre back to be brought into the team. And we did go with Ben Atia. He looks very nice from Roma. My friend even managed to pack him when he was in packs throughout Team of the Week. And it's a very nice pull. But the first game of the episode and we come up against this team, Ronaldo Bale, a very solid side, but what a time to come up against him, lads. I was playing terrifically well, and as soon as the game started, I had more of the possession, I was passing it very, very fast, and I felt that he was trying to mimic uh, my style of play. To get back into it, he knew he was under pressure, and he was rushing his passes, and really, that just gave me more sort of ammunition to attack and control the game even more, and I kind of felt bad for him, because I don't think he was the best of players, but I think he was a sort of... I don't know, he, he probably didn't play the game for a long time and he didn't know what he was doing. I don't think he was a noob, I just don't think he was that great. I'm going to be honest and say this. I'm not going to turn around and say that, yeah, I was dominating a very, very good FIFA player because that's just a lie. It was it was average, but I mean, I was playing very, very well. But moving into half time, and as you can see, there's zero shots for him and 59% possession. I thought I actually had more than that. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever experienced that. You've gone into uh, half time and you've thought, I've had way more possession there actually suggest I've had and that's what it felt like but in the second half um, I, I was actually pushing but I couldn't find the back of the net and like I said well, domination uh, and possession really doesn't mean anything. And this um, game really does show you that. Because I had, well, it said 69% or 59% possession, sorry. And I still couldn't find the back of the net. And I'm just going to say out straight that this ends up being a goal. How? I was pushing. I was doing some really nice build-up plays. I don't get rewarded for that. But a type of over-the-top ball, and you do. Giuseppe Rossi, if he didn't score that, though, I wouldn't have been happy. I think he got a bit confused with the centre-backs, which one was locked on and locked off. And he just really didn't have the acceleration to sprint after me. But I will take that. I mean, one goal, it opens up the floodgates to get another one. And what a fantastic finish, man. Giuseppe Rossi on the edge of the box. I know he brought out his goalkeeper. But that was a fantastic finish. Leave a like for two quick succession goals. It always seems to be the case, though. You can never score a goal... What the hell? How? No, when I was in game and that went in, that was the most undeserved goal that I've ever experienced scored against me in the whole of Ultimate Team. The funny thing is, headers aren't even classed as shots on target, so he's had no shots and scored a goal. GG, man. <laughs> G fucking G. But anyway, moving back into the game and straight from kickoff, after he did score, we were passing it around quite nicely and Pogba, oh, Pogba should have probably done better but I watched that back and he did push me a little bit so fair play to him. But full time did come around and you see the scoreline right there. 2-1, close game. No, it wasn't. But we did receive man of the match with um, Giuseppe Rossi. A good game from him but I'm, I'm not really sure if I like him. I, I don't know. There's something about him that I wouldn't really purchase and bring him into my side but um the next highest rating was Vidal so we do go on the market and pick up Conti he looks terrible but we're gonna give him a go uh, but the only thing really about him is that he's got decent passing like all of his other attributes there's nothing that really shouts well to me to say buy me play me and put me in your team it's just terrible. But moving into the game and we've gone and uh we'll come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 Brazilian side and again, I felt very, very good. Um, my confidence was sky high from that game. And he was sort of, well, he wasn't competent competing my play uh, in a sense, but he was rushing and he was causing himself problems. Now, lads, a bit of advice. If you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, your opponent is, well, not maybe not better than you, but he's, ha he's seeing more of the ball, then take a step back, slow it down, and just build up from the back and then push on. But what the hell was that? Look at this! It was so AD. I felt bad for him. He tackled me. The, the reason behind that is because he tackled me and then your goalkeeper can't pick it up. And then shit like that happens. And yet again, what is going on? The game, hopefully on next gen, they will sort of fix goalkeepers. And I mean this, fingers crossed, please just fix goalkeepers for the better. For me and also for my opponents that I play because it's not fair at all. Like, you... you you got no control. I know if you double tack wild, double tap triangle, you can sort of tell your uh, goalkeeper to drop back a little bit. But there's no real uh, sort of control. And as you see there, in the 68th minute, he does in fact get the goal with Diego Costa. And again, something out of my control. I went to tackle him and two defenders ran in the same direction. No, don't do that. Stay back 
and uh, and defend and help me out. But what a goal from Francesco Dotti. Love the guy. Thank God I actually brought him into the team. Really nice ball control. Skips inside. Bang in the back of the net. And what a way to finish the game off. 3-1 in full time. And I was very happy with the result. But as you can see there, we did receive man of the match. But there is one player left. And that is the last informed player that we can upgrade. And it is the likes of Ogbonna to an informed centre-back. Lads, let me know in the comment section below because the next episode will be the final. I need ideas. What shall I do? Shall I go for a cut run? Shall I just play a subscriber? Or what shall I do? Shall I do a pink slip? Shall I actually use this team to play a subscriber to win one of the players that he decides to pick from this team? Do let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, lads. Just hit the like button. It takes one, two seconds, 1.5 seconds. That's all it takes. And what I'm going to be bringing out tomorrow is my new challenge, uh, which is my new series. It's like a sort of a packed out uh, challenge. Uh, it's, uh, it's around pack openings. Hope you lads enjoyed that. But leave a like if you want to see that series tomorrow. Take it easy, lads. Thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.